The certificate of incorporation is um, the document that, that creates your entity um, under Delaware law or under California law, you know, wherever you're going to incorporate, whatever, whoever's laws you choose to incorporate your entity, the way that you incorporate is by filing this certificate of incorporation with the Secretary of State in that state. In some states, it's, it's called something different, the Articles of Incorporation. If it's a limited liability company, it'll be called a Certificate of Formation. But basically, it has the same purpose, which is to bring into existence your entity as an entity incorporated under the laws of that state. And so typically, a Certificate of Incorporation that's filed, say, in, in Delaware will be a very short document. It doesn't have a lot of detail. Um, it'll state, for example, um, your registered address in the state where you're incorporating, your, the, the agent for service of process um, in the state, and how many shares the company is authorized to issue, uh, the par value, which is sort of the nominal or symbolic value of the shares. And sometimes there will be provisions about indemnification, uh, which basically means the situations where the company is permitted or required um, to indemnify directors or officers when directors or officers um, are, are sued or incur legal liabilities because of their work for the company, um, and a few other provisions, but it's really very basic. Um, the, the real, um, so, so it's part of the sort of the, what in other countries is referred to as the constituent instrument of the company. But in contrast to constituent instruments that you see in other countries, um, you don't have all of the, the, the provisions about how the company will be governed. That is, you know, what the powers will, of the board of directors will be, how the board of directors will meet, um, how it can act and adopt resolutions or written consents, how the shareholders can meet, um, and all of the other provisions regarding the governance of the company. Those will not, usually not go into the certificate of incorporation. Those will go into a document that's called the bylaws. Um, and in contrast to the certificate of incorporation, the bylaws, um, you don't have to file those with the government. You don't have to provide those to the Secretary of State in the state where you're incorporated. The bylaws are just a, a document that the, that the shareholders um, of the company, the, the founders of the company, adopt at the, you know, when they form the company to say, okay, here is how we're going to govern ourselves. Um, and then typically, um, a, the secretary of the corporation will certify that these are the bylaws that, that we've adopted. And though that will be the, the key governing document um, of, the, of the corporation going forward in terms of the corporate governance.